And this is a question from Diana in Hawks Bay. Do a cluster of small earthquakes indicate a big earthquake is coming? And that, that's a really good question, and one that's very relevant to lots of things going on around in New Zealand. Um, and I guess the place to start with this one is that every earthquake that occurs influences the probability of future earthquakes occurring in the, the region. So in short, yeah, they do increase the probability of future earthquakes. Um, but then we have to also look at that swarms or clusters um, happen for, di for different reasons. Um, this could be things such as volcanic activity, which moves fluids around in the crust of the earth, or we have things called slow slip earthquakes, um, which are quite large earthquakes um, that happen on the subduction zone that take, say, one week or some months to occur. Um, we don't feel those earthquakes, but they do trigger lots of or make other smaller earthquakes occur in clusters. And not all of these clusters are the same in terms of how they influence future earthquake activities. Um, and that's something we're working on to try to better understand it. So, so hopefully that, that answers your question on the role of clusters in future earthquakes.